this is the hive where I'm gonna find the one day old larva from it's easier to find one day old larva usually they're near eggs so let's try to find this uh, young larva didn't find what I needed so I have to go uh, down the floor Okay, so this is exactly what I'm looking for. I shake the beast so you can see better. So this is exactly what I'm looking for, young larva, but not the size. Um, so you might see the big ones, those are not the size that we want, we want something that is close to the size of the egg, but a little bit curved, which means it has hatched. So, this is the frame that I will be using. Here's another shot. And I'm closing this temporarily and I'll come back to fix it later. So let's go. Hey guys, so I'm in my car. Uh, this is a much cooler place. Today we also have a good weather, not too hot. Uh, usually uh, when it's too hot you need like a wet cloth to put on top of the frame so um, the, um, the larva don't dry up. And uh, I think we're ready to go. I got my frame. I got the uh, cell tabs over here and uh, I'll put in the young larva from here to here. The one day old uh, larva. They're very small. This is going to be a night test. Wish me luck. They're very small. They're tiny. And that with the first one. Not sure how it'll go. Hopefully, it will make it. Not sure how it'll go, but hopefully, it will make it. Let's go for the second one. There are actually bees being hatched right now. Over here, these ones. They're being hatched right now. I'm not worried because they're too young to uh, sting me.
Okay, we're done. We are back at the cell star hive and I'm gonna put the frame with the uh, queen cups, queen cells in it and uh, hopefully uh, they're gonna be really nice, uh, really nicely built. I hold it upside down so they don't fall out and now I'm gonna turn it slowly and put it in. The reason why I do this slowly is because I don't want the uh, one day old larva to fall out. I'm gonna add a protein based uh, sugar patty. And also a pollen patty. I want to make sure that they uh, have enough uh, supply to make beautiful queens. putting the cloth over it and adding the pan where I'm gonna put the sugar syrup almost forgot this one Okay, we're done. I'll be back in a few days to check how they're doing and I'll give you a report. I want to show you something. So you remember from episode 1, uh, part 2, where I added the foundation frame? The top part had fallen off, so... I just opened this hive and uh, look how amazing these bees are. They totally fixed that part and built it on top. So don't worry if some pieces of your foundation are missing, the beehive will fix it. They are great workers. That's all the work we did today. We came here, uh, did some inspections, uh, fed some uh, sugar syrup, some uh, sugar patties. Uh, we also did queen rearing. Uh, from our from our strong hive, we took out young larva and uh, put it into a, a queenless hive, a starter hive, and uh, we'll come back and uh, check how uh, if they build those uh, queen cells. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time.